And then, bam. 76 alloy. Oh, my God. It's crafted it like a bow. Get on my level, team. What? what is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood shipwreck Van Dam McNaked here. That's that my full name is is wait shipwreck Mc, shipwreck McNaked Van Dam. Yeah, that that works. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more Atlas, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Look at our amazing and unbelievable stuff and things. There we have Big Brenda and Betty. And I've just start, uh, spent um, a little bit of time this morning gathering up some materials to make sure these guys are good for AFKing. You know, it's almost like a real boat. Before you log out, you've got to do stuff and things. So I went over. I brought some coins from Betty over to Big Bertha, Big Brenda, pardon me. Um, I got some food ready for those NPCs over there. I got some food ready for these guys over here. And we're hanging out, having a great time. Thank you very much, by the way, for all the support on the uh, Mythos Cyclops farming video. It was really cool. We did some informational stuff and things. There's a sign over here. Oh, hopefully, it, hopefully this is a good sign. Left you a blueprint you might like from the crew of the Morrigan. Okay, we got a bloop. Where is it? What is it, the bloop? Okay, I don't know. It didn't go in here. All right, let's check it out. What we got going on over here? Okay, I don't see the bloop. Where is it, the bloop? Is there? Is it in here? Oh, baby! Masterwork ship cannon! Ooh, ooh! The medium ship cannon, and there is a journeyman large cannon bloop in here. 144.632 weird uh, percent additional damage for this guy. It requires four types of alloy, four types of fiber, four types of hide, four types of wood, and we can make Schweventeen of those, which is perfect. We have six cannons on the one side, six cannons on the other side. And so that would be 12. We'd be able to do all of it. That's an amazing gift. Thank you so much from the ship of the Morgan. Unbelievable and amazing gift for outfitting Betty to do more additional amazing amounts of damage stuff and things. Since the last episode, we haven't really done much in the way of trying to, to um, get any of these mythical blueprints um, crafted up. It seems to be that they're kind of ridiculously difficult. And at this time, with drop on death being a thing, um, I don't want to put 10 hours into making a carbine that just drops on the ground. If I happen to die and I'm not able to get my body back. Um, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We might end up building some of those and like putting them in a safe place or something like that. But today, we're taking a little bit of a relaxing step back for the unbelievable and amazing adventure with which we experience on every episode. And today, it's building time, you guys. So, <clears throat> pardon me, you may notice over there, there is the beginnings is of a thing. So let's go ahead and check it out. Wait, I don't think I have. Do I? Oh, I do. All right. So let's go like this. And climb up here and get a little bit of height. Let me go ahead like so. I have a bunch of stuff on my body and I have no idea why. I think people put stuff on my sleepy body to weigh me down. I don't know exactly what was going on there. But all right. So uh, over here, let's check it out. Um, a lot of the other communities here on the Salvation server have started crafting up little areas. Um, different sorts of stuff and things have been going on. And um, we really haven't. The booty barnacles have really not. And we haven't done that for a reason. And the reason that we haven't done it is because... Um, it's just been too laggy in the bay. The bay is full of stuff and things, and it's just been ridiculously laggy. Um, and so in order to try to have the community come together, do amazing stuff and things, that's wildfire. I missed you so much. Wildfire and the guard wolf. Oh man, our community is so amazing. Do you have stuff and things you need? Wildfire. You're so great. Let's go ahead and mount and we'll pop over here. So, um, yes, in order to facilitate the community doing stuff and things. Community building resources. We have been not building anything in the area. And so today we're going to start to do that. Or we're going to show you what we've been doing and continue to do that, I guess. Let's stick our lantern in there. Can we repair that? Thank goodness gracious sakes alive. Get a repair on the hot lantern action. Oh, and I need to get some berries in my life too. I'm a little low on berries right now. I need some more vitamin berry. Um, so this was our previous community area. And while amazing, and thank you so much for everybody for doing it, it's kind of small. But that's by design. We made it small because we were having problems with the frames. Um, now that we're having a little bit less um, problem with frames around here, you can see right now we have 14 pit players connected uh, in our zone in C2. And uh, it looks like we're down to, well, we have only 16 members of the Booty Barnacles. Things have slowed down a little bit, which is perfectly fine. People are finding their groove. Some of the initial excitement's wearing off, and uh, not everybody's here all the time. When the game first launched, 
we were having 50, 60, 70, 80 players just in the booty barnacles, 100, 125, 150 people in the zone. And now it's slowed down quite a bit. So uh, on the last stream on twitch.tv slash Slipgator, we started this bad ombre over here, a new little area, a new beginnings is, and it's pretty cool. It's coming along quite nicely, in fact. Um, the idea is here we have this amazing uh, decking or a dock, pardon me, um, that we can come out into the water. And it looks like they put, this is pretty cool, a couple of little deals so we can climb down. Look, it works perfectly. Come over here, climb up. Look at that, man. It's unbelievable and amazing. All right, so um, we got all these guys going, and then somebody with a ship could possibly bring their ship in here and then be able to come right up to the dock and unload stuff and things. So over here, we started to build a little stepped area. And this is kind of how we're going to have to do things. It's a little bit weird here. We have to build the stepped area. Um, and yeah, we started building these towers as, as well. And again, and I want to make sure that I tell you guys, uh, I used, like to use the term we and say thank you very much to the community for gathering up a massive amount of resources, making stuff and things happen. Um, so over here, this looks like it actually needs a little bit of work. There's some pieces missing. Um, but over here, wow, these are damaged. Wait, what? They look damaged because they're darker. That's really weird. I wonder why that is. All right. So, um, anywho, so we started these two towers, and that's kind of the plan for this area. It's going to be like a little bizarre. When you walk up here, there'll be little stalls, perhaps, where there are tanneries and looms and those sorts of things. I'm thinking about putting in maybe um, a big wall or some uh, some of the behemoth gates right along this area here uh, and then have that come back up. More stepped stuff and things that bring us up to our flat area where we can start building our town. Um, we are going to be talking about... Well, wait. Let me see. What do we got inside of here? I haven't even seen this yet. Eh, interesting. Cool. I love the wooden design on the inside here. I, I helped to build the stairs and the beginnings of the towers and the dock. And uh, nothing else. I didn't really uh, wasn't able to work on any of the other things, so the community came together to do it. Uh, the wooden tops here look really good, and that really helps to save on resources. I think this kind of looks a little bit better with the stone and wood, and then down here, uh, and then you can pop out like so. So it's pretty cool to start off with. It's a thing, and um, if you built an atlas or you haven't built an atlas, building stuff and things takes a lot of resources. It's quite quite uh, expensive to do. So let's take a look and see what we have going on over here right now. There's a grill. We've got a couple of forges. Some people built some stuff and things for the bazaar, it looks like. This is the, oh, that's the tannery. This is the loom. So we could start doing some of those things. Um, hey, berries. Fortuitous, in fact. Can I have them? He can have them. Nailed it. Ace, they can't be stopped. Uh, there's a new bank because we need to take the old bank and remove it. Um, yeah, so the idea is to... To probably build some sort of a road, maybe over this way, and then put another structure in over here that would be similar to whatever we're building over there, but be utilized for the large shipyard, um, so that people who want to build yard ship large stuff in the large shipyard have a building to kind of help to facilitate the the that happening. Um, and then up inside of this area, like I said, where it gets more flat, we're gonna try to make it more into like a town area here. So I think it's going to be really cool. It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of resources. Um, and I know that the Booty Barnacles community is ready to, to 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 take on the task. I think that we're going to be able to do it completely, unbelievably, and amazingly. So I want to pop over here real quick and take a look and see just some more building materials. And then did we mirror these? We didn't really mirror them, but it is what it is. I can see. I see how this is going on now. I like that maybe they use different materials. That kind of gives us some character. So this is all wood. I see it now. It's like a transition. All wood. See? All stone. Stone and wood. All wood. Makes perfect sense to me now. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so today, I'm going to start to go ahead and craft some stuff and things up. And we're going to just kind of see what happens. Um, we need a new small shipyard over in this area. Let's take a look and see. Does it happen to be already crafted? Doesn't look like I don't see one in there. Okay, so uh, we'll need a small shipyard. I'll make that and we'll put that right over here. We want to make it nice and even so it fits perfectly in betwixt. This one is already pretty even. You can see there, that's kind of the overhang. And then there, this is kind of the overhang. But I think we're going to tear this out too and make sure that it's perfectly even. Uh, somebody is currently building a ship here. So once that is finished, it looks like it actually is very close to being finished. Once that's finished, they can launch and then get this guy out of the way and we can replace that guy too. 
So um, I don't want to do that. I don't know who's building it. I don't know what they want to name their boat. So we're not going to do that right now. But lots of stuff and things to do. And I'm going to get to it, peeps. Uh, you might say, wait, Slipcater, this is looking different at all. Well, it is. A huge amount of <laughs> more foundations have been placed. And uh, yeah, now we have stairs going almost all the way up as high as we want to go. We have a couple more levels to go. Um, but in order to make next the next stage go on, Kitty and Billy and Sheep and Community Lion and Pooba keep him safe and Sue Rex and Bessie the barn cow. We're going to have to make another pen for these guys and get them moved up. I would say probably, well, it sucks. We don't want to actually move into these areas here. It's really great the way we did this. There's a lot. Of, it looks like a mismatch of stuff and things, but there was some thought that went into it. Um, when you build a structure, obviously, uh, items don't respawn when they're near structures or resources don't respawn when they're near structures. So we asked everybody to build their structures up against the cliff edge there. So we do have some resources that are available right here, closer to stuff and things. Now, with the way that we're working, I would hate to see these pens moved up here where there's resources that we need for building down here. So I'm not really sure where we can move them. Um, maybe there are some spots. Like right here, there's a little bit of a spot. This would work. Maybe a spot right here. We could work on moving those guys out of the way over there. And then the bank, we're just going to tear down. It doesn't really need to be a thing. And then once we us figure out... what Did I say us figure out? Once we figure out what we're going to be doing over here with the um, community area, the, com the community shop, um, we can start to basically tear down and rebuild and tear down and rebuild as we're doing that. But we don't want to tear this down either. So we've got to really be careful. It's a work in progress. As this gets built up, these things get torn down, not in any other way. Like this has got to get moved. Then we build the, then as we go up, you know, you get it. So it's got to be in stages. Um, also it's kind of cool down here. Not every one of these steps is exactly the same. You see how this is like, this right here is more like a three wide. Then here we've got a two wide and a two wide. This is only one wide. This is only one or this is two again. This is one again. And I actually really like how that looks. It's going to make it look not super uniformed, um, as you can see. And it's going to give it a little bit of character. Um, another thing you may notice is how these foundations, or floors as they're called in this game, have different textures. And they're done in a really weird way that doesn't make any sense. IMHO. The bottom most foundation gets the fancy texture. Anything above that does not. Um, and it's really weird that it's that way because you think the top most, the thing that's viewed, you know what I mean? The area that would be the most viewed and the most in a, in a, uh, consecutive, uh, floors that are in a single line would be the top. And then that would be if the, if the top uh, floor got the texture, it would make it look a lot better. So that's why over here, some of these don't have the texture because there have to be, um, a foundation under there. Uh, this whole area right here, you can't really see it but it slopes in a big curve. There's kind of a big curve right in the center here. Um, and we might use that to our advantage. So there's a lot more stacked foundations in the center than there are on the edges. And then over here again, um, this guy right here, uh, the mountain kind of comes in uh, to the area. And we're just going to leave it like that, I think. It's just going to kind of be a thing. Like they're, they're, we have these uniform stairs that come up. And then once we hit the mountain, they'll just kind of stop probably. Uh, but the next order of business, we're going to have to take a look at building that shipyard, like I was saying. In order to get that going, uh, let's go ahead and pop over here real quick and take a look. We want a small shipyard. Um, we're going to need to get more wood. Oh, also the gates. We're going to need alloy. All right, let's talk about alloy. Uh, give me that. Give me this. Am I a burden to dead? Give me 100. All right, there we go. So alloy, we haven't really crafted any up yet on camera. And a lot of you guys might know how it's done, but some of you might not. I've never even made any. Uh, you got to go inside of this bad ombre right here. Uh, what is it even called? The forge. Just wanted to make sure. So you got to go into the forge. And in order to make alloy, there's different types. One, two, three, four, five, six types of alloy made from six different types of metal. So if we want to make this, we've got to light the fire. And then, bam, 76 alloy. Oh, my God. It's crafted it like a bow. Get on my level, team. Put. Wait, put. Give me that. Let's go ahead and bring it over so we're not too burdened. Well, I guess we could have done them all. All right. We'll squirt those guys inside of here. And then we'll do this as well. Grab the rest. Where are you? The alloy. 24. Okay. So the alloy is for the gates. I want to build one of the large gates and one of the... the Well, one of each gate, I should say. Let's pop these guys in there like that. And then all we can do is the small stone gateway. Let's go ahead and craft that guy up. We want to do the large gateway. We're going to need more wood and more alloy. Now, inside of this storage here... 
Do we have more? I built some more, uh, some more of those bad boys, some more floors. Do we have more metal? I don't think we do. Looks like we're going to be on a little bit of a hunt here. We're going to need more metal, more alloy, and then, ooh, 33. What are these? 50 fence supports. Okay. And then right there, more metal. Oh, more wood, more stone. Huge amounts of stuff and things. We can check in here. More metal. Yeah, baby. That's a big amount of metal. Is that too much metal for me to carry? It is. So let's split that guy in half. All right. So we should be able to make the alloy. We need to make both of the gateways now and get some more building stuff and things done. Okay, and we're back under cover of darkness. Oh, it looks like there's a beautiful blue light in here. Nice. Very nice. Oh, also, hold on, guys. I'm going to show you this. Let's turn that guy off. Let's turn this guy on so we can get a little bit of light. And then let me show you this. Um, one of the booty barnacles, Saboa, figured this bad uh, ombre out over here. And I think it's actually broken, so we're going to have to repair it. But I'll show you this light color that we found. Access yield the inventory. Squirt that over here. Uh, I ended up doing some work on the stairs. I really wish that, <clears throat> yeah, this is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to. So I love to make and show you guys progress, uh, a lot of progress. And um, unfortunately, this is taking a little longer than I thought. So we won't get probably as much progress done as I wanted to do. I wanted to do like a huge change. Um, but just building out these stairways, getting this up to where it is. And then I also added the little half walls in betwixt all of these because you could see behind there and I didn't like that. It's been taking a good amount of time. So let me go inside of here. Let's put this guy back in. Let me go ahead and turn my light off and look at this. Wait, what? That's not the light. Wait, what? <laughs> that's not the color, I don't think. I don't think that's the color. We found a die. There's a die called slate. And if you use slate, I think this got changed out. Wait, there's slate die in here, is there not? I think I saw it now that I'm remembering. Silver. Not yellow. Hmm. So we'll try let's try silver real quick. Maybe that's what this is. But there is a die color called slate, and from what I understand, it makes well, I saw it. It's like a very nice, normal white color. Okay, silver. Oh, that's super white. Wow! It's a little bit matcha even. So silver works for a very, very white light. If you don't like like the red glow, which I actually kind of like the red glow of the fire, uh, but that is that is ridiculous. That's actually kind of super bright. We'll go ahead and turn that guy off. And I like my little blue light. I love how it looks eerie in the darkness. Um, so those are the things that I've done over here. But we do have some progress to show you and some ideas that we have to show you. Uh, wait, did I not put them here? Did I put them over here? The gateways. So I made the gateways. Now, the behemoth gateway, we're not going to use it. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Because it is behemothly humongous. It's stupid. Like so. Like so. Which one's this? That's the large gateway. This is the small gateway. Let me show you the large gateway. Hold on. Let's go over here. I'm going to be putting it in the middle. So let's get lined up. And we want to put it in the middle of these towers. So about here's where it would be, correct? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of freaking ridiculously humongous. I mean, it'd be great for walls. It's the same size as it is an arc, right? So it's massive, but really just just way, way too big. I mean, I, can, can, I can't even zoom out far enough to see the top of it. See what I'm talking about? It's just silly. Um, I'd love to, it, it really would be great if there was an in-between sized gate, because uh, this one is kind of really small. Uh, not even close to as big as we want it to be, but I think that it's going to work if we place it right here, like so. And then we pop back over here and see. It is. It does look good. I like the way that that looks. So I think we're going to use that gateway. And we'll actually end up using three of these. And then we're going to use walls to wall this area in. So let me go and see. Do we have what we need in order to make a couple more of those gates? You know what I should probably do? I should place the behemoth gate and then destroy it. And that way I'll get the resources back. Um, let's pop over here then to do that. So we're not too far away. Because it's going to take a lot of weight in order to make this work. He's done it. Are you ready? Are we ready for the burden? All right, so we can pop over here now. We need two more of those smaller gateways. And I have something really cool to show you about how the roofing works in this game. Oh, I've teed you. Get teed over there, baby. Like that, like that, like that, and like that. And then the gates, we want to make small stone gateways. We can only make one. And then what are we out of? Alloy. Crap. All right, well, we can make one of those. But... Uh, next order of business, the thing I want to show you that I'm going to be working on here are these roofs. Now, what I think would be really cool looking is at this level right here, if these kind of popped out, 
uh, and it gives uh, the top of the the tower like a little bit of a bulbousy type look. Now, if you remember when we were building in Conan Exiles, we did this, and it was very difficult to do. And I do believe they made it easier here in um, Atlas. So um, we know we want to do triangles, or we actually want to do uh, like a flat thing. Normally, you would go where there's a triangle, you would go with the square. And then you can change this into a triangle. And then where there's a square, you go a triangle. So we'll go like that. And then now check this out, peeps. If we do another triangle. And I think... Nailed it, Ace the Cave. Stop. Look at it! And it's not all weird on the other side. It's not weird and sticky-outy. It's like perfect. It's unbelievable and amazing. It looks so good. Uh, and it kind of blows me away that they've made it so that it's that easy to build those little structures. Thank goodness gracious. The building in Atlas has been, so far, fairly pleasurable. It's been very pleasurable. So if we do that, do we even need to do... Hold on a second here. Can we pick this up real quick? Can I pick this up real quick? No, I got to demolish it. Okay. So what if I did this, and then I did the triangle? And we did like that. And then does it still look weird? Okay, so that doesn't work. All right, so that's not going to work out for us. We do need to do the triangle thing. Um, but the little cross sections, with the transitions in between the two places, uh, it's pretty great. It's pretty great that we can do this. So then this guy would want to be a triangle again as well. Like, no, where is it? There we go. Like that. And then here. But you see how easy that is, man? I mean, it's so easy to do. It blows my mind. Look how good that looks and how simple it is. So we'll be able to bulbous these guys out. Um, and it will make for a very nice, it'll make a nice looking uh, design. We can go up like this, maybe up one floor, then ba back in. Or maybe up two floors and then back in. Um, and then start building a roof on these towers. So the beginnings of this is going great, man. It's going to look so good. Um, I really wish you could see my the vision in my mind. Because the vision in my mind is like, I'm, I don't know. It looks It's going to look really, really good. So I'm going to continue to work on it. Just stop talking. Start building. And we're back following Instagram. Ah, uh, here we go, ladies and gentle peeps. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a trick. We've got to place this bad ombre and the sun is going down. Uh, this should be the middle of this. So if I face this like this and then I came... Oh, <gasps> look how beautiful that is! Oh, my God. Oh, that was perfect. It couldn't have turned out any better. If we move this in... Look at that. That's exactly what we want. The shipyard just to be beautifully placed right up against. Like so. Oh my god. So good. Love it. Love it. All right. So I love that a lot. Um, all right. And I started to do some other stuff and things. There is some progress to show you. It's not all just placing foundations. Um, we're having a little bit of trouble with some of the walls. For some reason, I can place... Well, it makes sense. Any of anything right here, uh, we do have foundational support for. But underneath this, wait, how do I get underneath there to show you this now? Uh, here, these foundations can't go all the way over to the edge because there is no, you know, the 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 ground is here. So we're having a little bit of trouble with that that uh, support structure so that we can place the walls up above. Now I might be able to actually fix that right now. Let's just go ahead and double check. I have a thing over here. One support I remember I put inside of there. If I took this one support, do you think this is going to work? So there's the door. It has to go on the back wall. If I just took this one little support and I came over here like this. And I did... Oh, is there a weird... Okay, if I just did that. Let's say that we just did that. And we put a support over there. So it's like close. It's within three foundations. And then we came over here and we got five walls. And that's all we need, right? Yeah. So say we got the five walls. Wait, we got to come over here now. We're still in the building process. Things are a little bit confusing. So we'll come up and then see if we can place our stuff. And if it works, I'll be a friggin' super, super happy. Wait, there it is. It's not in there. Yeah, he's done it. All right, perfect. That's great. So we'll have to add that little uh, support structure underneath. But there won't be a lot of people in there. It's not going to be that big of a deal. So check it out. Now that guy's done over there. Now I don't know if we're going to come back in. I think we're going to come back in. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do up there yet. I'm not exactly sure. But we also built this wall over here. 
Um, and there you can see our wall. You know, I want to go ahead and grab a few more walls because I have some stuff and things to do down there. If we grab maybe five, 13. Okay, we're G's. And then if we, like so. So uh, over here, I have started to place some of these guys to kind of keep stuff and things looking, you know what I mean, like a thing. Um, so we're placing some of the half walls or the railings down. Over here, I think we are going to put a stairway uh, right in there up to this so you can get inside of here uh, if you need to. And then down over along on this edge. Like so. so. That kind of encroaches a little. Yeah. It looks better like that. Maybe we pull this back one. I don't know. I kind of like the extra room. We could pull this back once. We could get the little the little L shape like we have right there or not. Either way, six or a half dozen. And then over here. Wait. There we go. We can place these guys like that as well. And we're down. We're missing a couple. But yeah, see, you can see. So it's starting to become a thing. It's very nice in fact, and I like it. We went whatever. What do we do? Three walls high and then a half wall. And then we have the three gates. And I think we're just going to leave those gates open. I don't even think we'll put doors on them. But this whole area, man, it's starting to look like a real deal. Like, it's got that... It's got a castle feel. It doesn't have a pirate feel yet. So we have to give it that pirate feel as well. And I think that's going to come from out here adding some water barrels, some looms, the tannery. Um, adding more of the, uh, the railings around and just kind of making it feel a little bit more like it's a working area. Um, I don't know what kind of aesthetics we have to for placing things. Like, I don't know what kind of aesthetic blocks or aesthetic uh, items there are. Um, but even down here on the docks, we could put like a loom and a couple of barrels and then the tannery and a couple of barrels or things like that and fill this whole area up and make it really look cool. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Believe it or not, it took a really long time to make that happen. It was late, way longer than I thought it would, but it was way nice. It was super fun to experience. It was really fun to build an atlas a little bit more, and we're going to do more of it here on YouTube. So make sure if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll be doing more on twitch.tv slash slipgator. Hit the link and go ahead and follow there too. We stream Monday through Friday, 5 to 9. So thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shouts to everybody on patreon.com slash slipgator who helps to support stuff and things. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys in the next video. And may the stuff and things be with you.